the U.S. Coast Guard launches their highest level of investigation. Coast Guard Captain Ron Morris is assigned as the lead investigator. What could possibly create such an issue for this vessel that it would go down so quickly and nobody have a chance to even say mayday? Because the accident was so deadly, the National Transportation Safety Board sends their own investigator, Bob Ford, to assist. Having no survivors, also no voyage data recorder. My first reaction was, this is almost going to be impossible to find out. What could sink the Arctic Rose so fast, the crew had no time to escape? The search for answers takes investigators to Dutch Harbor, Alaska, the main port of call for fishing vessels working the Bering Sea. Several former crew members paint a picture of an inexperienced crew working in uncomfortably cramped conditions. One person, there was a former fisherman from the Arctic Rose that was a little reluctant to talk. He said, what a hunk of junk it was. Bottom line, it was almost a form of punishment to go on the Arctic Rose. Then he mentions something that catches the investigator's attention. Any defects at all? Anything you noticed uh, about the boat? She got rolling pretty good on heavy seas. Right. If the rolling was as bad as former crew members say, it could be a sign the boat was dangerously unstable. Investigators drill down to learn as much as they can about the boat's design. The Arctic Rose was a trawler, but it didn't start out as a trawler. It started out as a shrimper, and it was modified more than once. Quite a few modifications. The fact the ship was altered from its original design is an important lead. Did converting the Arctic Rose into a processor make it so top-heavy it capsized in the rough seas? To find out, investigators meet the naval architect responsible for most of the changes. Changes to Arctic Rose include adding the entire processing factory, a concrete floor to level the deck, and a massive steel gantry to haul the net. Investigators learn that although the modifications did make the boat heavier, as long as the watertight hatches were closed, the Arctic Rose was considered seaworthy and safe. Investigators are stumped. If the modifications were safe and the boat was stable, then to find out why it sank, they'll need to see the vessel for themselves.